And we're now pleased to welcome back the mayor of Beaufort, Billy Kaiserling. Billy, how you doing? Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Very well. Always better when you're here. Billy, tell Well, I know, but I'm not here because I'm looking at a bright light. <laughs> you're looking at a monitor. I'm in Beaufort. You're in Hilton Head. Ain't fair, man. This is true, but through the power of technology, I'm with you in your heart. Uh, <laughs> Billy, tell us well, how the city performed you. through the tropical storm Irma. Well, I mean, Irma was <clears throat> a storm of its own kind. If I took the most cynical approach, an educational approach, I'd say because of its heavy flooding, it, it, it and the people don't like to hear me say this, it could be the, nor the new normal for the next generation, three feet in downtown Beaufort, is what would be predicted with sea level rise in the year 2100. Yeah, it's a real yeah, that's eye not today. Plan. That that was a storm surge on top of a high tide, um, which is of course the the, per, the the perfect storm. Irma was was quite different from Matthew. Matthew, we had more wind, we had more downed trees, we had more electrical outages, we had more blocked streets, we had more debris to pick up. Irma was pretty much about the water, but we learned a great deal. <clears throat> in that our sea level rise task force had identified places where extra high tides would breach um, in Mossy Oaks under the Spanish Moss Trail, on the point uh, in downtown. The seawall was about three, three feet underwater. Uh, two spots on Boundary Street, Highway 21 coming into Beaufort, <clears throat> were blocked because of wetness. The airport was on, on Ladies Island was underwater, as was Highway 21. You know, whenever you get that extra eight inches of rain on top and three feet of extra water, there's just no place to put it. And that really is, is our challenge for the next generation, is to forget talking about climate change, forget talking about <clears throat> all the science of it. Go to the waterfront park go to your neighbors or to your own dock and look what's happening. The tides are rising, period. The creeks are filling in, period. So rather than deny this, let's, let's, you know, let's hold hands, march forward and figure out some solutions. Because I don't think we have to lose our historic landmark district. We've got plenty of time, <clears throat> but all of this is gonna be very expensive. And I think that for everyone affected by Irma, the one thing that came true is that we've got to find better ways to maintain the stormwater apparatus, the ditches, the culverts, the, the settling ponds, the outfalls into the river, because they're all in need of work, and we've always pointed fingers, well, that belongs to the state and that belongs to the county. Time to quit blowing fing pointing fingers. Let's just get together and do the work so that the special home that we have can, can be to others what it has been to, to you and me. Billy, it's going to take a community effort to get us into the next century. Uh, it's, it's always good to forecast things, especially when it comes to weather. Billy Kaisling is the mayor of the city of Beaufort. Billy, you know you're welcome here always, all right? Thank you, Kevin. It's truly my pleasure.